Hello everyone. Happy Friday. Um, today was my weigh-in day at Weight Watchers. It didn't really count, but since the last time I was there, I had lost a little over two pounds. Um, because I started the week of Thanksgiving, and just, just like many times before, I stopped. I felt like I was... Um, being denied a lot of the things that I wanted to eat, even though I don't really like Thanksgiving. Um, it's just something as simple as there, you know, if there's a bowl of mixed nuts on the table at my grandma's house, there usually is. I wanted to be able to eat them. I went today and I thought, well, it says here I weighed more. I weighed myself this morning and um, I always weigh myself before I go just so that I, there's no real big um, unpleasant surprises. And it said that I was about, you know, roughly about two pounds lighter. And I didn't think much of that. I just felt like a failure for not having stuck with it. And maybe I could be even less by now, things like that. It was all running through my head. And the woman who d processed my way in started clapping. And she, she actually started clapping and said, you know, yay, you've lost almost three pounds since you were here last and usually when people aren't here they gain and her enthusiasm completely changed the way that I felt about coming back I thought you know what whether or not it's water weight or who knows what the case is um, part of me feels like I've been I've even been more careful since I started making videos it, who knows what contributed to that, but um, it doesn't matter what contributed to that. When it comes down to it, it's a step in the right direction. They gave me this cute little newsletter that follows the topic of the week. The topic of the week was staying on course and how you can tend to let things snowball. For me, this is all just snowballing. I. Every single time I ate something that I regretted, don't do it, no. I felt like it's only this one thing. And that can turn into a whole day of one things. And for me, that also has turned into over 10 years of it's just one thing. And that's put me in a place where I'm jeopardizing my health and my well-being and it's a really stupid way to look at a, a bad decision. So what I want to do now is look at everything before I eat it and say, is this a good or a bad decision? If it's a bad decision, I need to own up to it and write it down and accept the fact that I made the bad decision. It's not about starting fresh for one whole day. It's about starting fresh the very next time. So. That's what I'm going to be focusing on for this week and hoping that I can start to retrain myself and think differently. As they say frequently at the meetings that I go to, um, it may be different regionally, but I know that they always stress that when you're having a bad week, that's the best week to be there. So considering I'm, some people think it's stupid for me to do this before Christmas, um, you know, and before New Year's, those are holidays that are going to keep happening in my life and I need to learn how to get past them. And when it comes down to it, it's really only a couple of days. If I plan ahead, I can, I can do it. And um, this would be, at any other point in my life, a time where I would say, I can't start until after Christmas. But um, it's just going to be an excuse to make bad decisions from now until then. If those mixed nuts are at my grandma's house, I'm probably going to eat some. And I'm not going to tell myself, oh well, it was Christmas, and just not go. Um, I think that going to the meetings is a really key part of the Weight Watchers program because I've tried to do it without the meetings and I haven't lasted a full week. Um, there were times when I think I probably started and didn't last the whole day. So this being um, a main component combined with what I'm trying to do with you guys, I guess, um, will hopefully be helpful.